title of course is in German, a uh, Wächter, and in, in English I would say it uh, would be guard. But what I like about it is that it's got different meanings to it and it's, it can be something that's kind of more positive or it could be more negative. So it's a bit ambivalent. I really like this idea of opening up different associations that can go in different directions. That's something I try to do in my work as well, so I like this title being open for positive as well as negative ideas on my work, on the topics I'm working on. Going on to the topics that you're working on, yeah. the group of works being presented in this exhibition are a combination of two themes that you've worked on previously. So there's the kind of more generic protest scenes and resistance yeah. and then there's also the much more specific and personal motives like your jacket or yeah. your wife's flowers. Yeah. Why did you decide to bring these two themes together now? Um, within the whole corona situation and the lockdown and everything it really made sense for me to kind of instead of opening up and looking at the world what's happening around the world somewhere it was more concentrating on what is actually right in front of me and my whole world got smaller, so I like this idea of having this in my art as well. And when all the lockdowns went down and we could kind of open up more, I had this urge to also open up my work again. And so I thought I wanted to be more connected to stuff that's actually going on at the moment that's also important. And also with developing this way of working with the glass and the mirror reflection effect. I found that very interesting with the objects already, but also with the situations it's so nice to get the viewer, the betrachter, into the picture. So everybody who's looking at one of my pictures mm. is also looking at himself or herself inside this picture. And is, in a way is confronted with themselves being part of this world, part of the situation, but also somebody looking onto it or into it. And I like this idea of capturing a moment, but at the same time, within the same picture, you avoid this idea of capturing something. You even destroy this idea. Every moment is different and the picture is always different. Going on to these protest scenes that you depict, I know that you use images for reference, but when we see the finished piece, there's no clue given to the viewer as to where that scene is taking place. It's not locatable. And it's the same with the figures as well. They're always wearing gas masks or helmets or hoodies to cover their faces. Why do you like having that anonymous nature to the images? I think my interest is not usually in a certain situation or in a certain person. I like to think about the kind of more general ideas behind it. So in these moments when, when people are kind of willing to go on the street, demonstrate or even get aggressive or violent, I think that's a very critical moment for everybody. Like this idea of a state or a structure that might change. There's always situations like that somewhere. You can look at the world now, you can look at the world five years ago, ten years ago. Uh, you've got people kind of at a certain point fighting for something or against something. And if I use a, a painting to make somebody think about that, I like it if it's more in depth in a way. I want it to be connected to everything. So if there's one figure or one person, one human being on a picture, it could be everybody. It could be anywhere. 